so anyone has any doubt on concept part what this choice will do what uh, round robin will do and what first successful will do as i mentioned last time also in 99% like uh, you will use choice only round robin and first successful you will use very rarely but mulesoft has this capability so you should know that capability Meanwhile, studio will start. So, like everyone, just put yes or no. Okay, how many of you have completed last assignment, the three assignment? So yesterday, many people hadn't completed. So I just want to know, like how many of you have completed assignment? Those three, those three assignment. Still, I can see only six people has completed that assignment. It's for everyone, okay? If you will not do assignment and all, then at the end you will not get anything. Okay. Main learning will come when you will do assignment and all. Okay. When I will explain concept, definitely you will be able to understand. But once you will do by your head, then you will get deep understanding so in future also you will not forget those concept and you will able to correlate future things like whatever we will cover later on you will able to correlate hello yeah, uh, sir i have one doubt uh, regarding the concatenation operation um while doing concatenation, uh, uh, two and Microsoft gets uh, added. So I want to put a space there. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, uh, what is the so what we need to do? So let's say you are doing uh, something A B C plus 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 plus. Keyword. Okay, let's say you are doing this. What will be result? Result will be ABC PQR. Correct. But what you want, you are looking for a space here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you need to do? Marshall, you need to the highlight red CQR. Remember, everyone go on mute. So you want space between the, those two. So what you need to do ABC plus plus space plus plus. Is it clear now? So result will be ABC space PQ. Got it. Thank you. So today we will see more components. So let me see what all we have covered. So slowly we will see all the components. Core component. First we will go with core components. We, we have done with choice for successful round robin. Okay. Scatter gather. We will do it later on since uh, this is scatter gather. We have many concepts. 
OK, so we will do scatter gather later on. OK, so today what we will do, we will work on this flow and subflow. So here you can see. Whenever we are dragging and dropping any component. Okay. So whenever you will drag and drop any mule component, let's say I am dragging this listener. So you can see here, this listener is wrapped by one flow. Okay, flow name is mule application flow. So whatever like name of your application will be there, whatever this file name will be there, that file name and then flow will be there. Okay. So let's say I am dragging this logger component. So you can see this logger component is wrapped inside this particular flow. So by default, whenever you will like drag and drop any component in empty space, like empty space means in any any places, then it will wrapped inside a flow. Okay. So flow is nothing but a flow will help us to define or to to use any mule component. OK, inside flow only you can use or define any mule component. You can't define any component outside of flow or subflow. OK, now what is the difference between flow and subflow that we will discuss later on. But whenever you want to define any mule, you must need to create either flow or subflow. So you can see here. When I drag and drop listener, automatically flow got created. Whenever I drag and drop this logger, automatically one flow got created. Now inside same flow, you can put as many component as you want. Okay. It's not like for each component, one flow will be created. Okay. To define any component, one required. OK, and within that flow, there can be a number of component. Everyone clear on this part so far, like you will see whatever project we have delivered, we have created every project has one flow. Exchange rate API flow. If you go for. Post successful. Post successful meal application flow. So whenever you are defining any component, you must need to define flow first. Now you will say. Till this point we haven't defined flow, so. If you will not define flow, automatically one flow will be created. But. Today we will see how we can define how we can create our flow. OK. Not go with a default flow, so we can create our flow, go to core component. And here you can see flow. Just take it and drop it here. So whenever you will define any flow, it has three part. Source. Process and error handler. Okay. In source part. Like uh, how you are going to expose your API, we define those kind of component in source. OK, let's say you want to define your API as a REST API, then in source it will be HTTP listener. Okay. Again, like if you want to define, if you want to create scheduler based API, then source will be scheduler. If you want to create event driven API, then in source you will have like for database connector, we have one operation is there. I, I can't remember at this name, but we have operation. Okay. On so, new or update. Yeah, correct. On new or update. OK, so like that for most of the connector, we have one operation to define inside source. OK, and whatever component you will put inside source that will tell how you are going to expose your application or API. 
it will be REST API, it will be scheduler API, it will be event driven API. So that kind of things we will put here. Then we have processor. Okay. So in processor, you will put all the business logic. Okay. So what will be uh, business logic of your API and what kind of orchestration your API do? All those things we will do inside processor. Okay. So in processor part, we do all we do apply all the business logic, we do all the orchestration. And then we have error handler part. If there will be any error in source and processor part, okay, then that error will be handled by error handler component. Okay, so in MuleSoft again we have different kind of error handler component that we will discuss later. But this error handler component, like inside error handling part. Just give me one
So it, it contains source, it contains process, it contains error handler, source. It, it will tell what kind of API you are going, going to develop, how you are going to expose your API. Processor, we apply all the business logic and orchestration and error handler will help us to handle the error if there is any. Okay. So now, if I want to expose this API as a REST API, so what I will do inside source, if I try to put this requester, okay, this requester is used to consume any API, so definitely requester should not be source. But if I try to put this inside source, you can see you will not able to put. You can see there is a red mark. Okay. So in source, you will able to put only limited operation. Okay. For each connector, there will be only one operation which will be like which you can put inside source. Okay. So inside source, you will able to drop or you will able to define only those component which has characteristic or which has property as a source. Okay. For requester, we are unable to put it here. But if you drag and drop, if you try this one also, this also, this also you will not able to do. But if you try listener, then you will be able to put here. Okay, so listener we can put here since this HTTP listener can be exposed or this HTTP listener help us to expose our API as a REST API. Okay, everyone clear on this part? So let me define this listener. Now, if I try to put this listener in processor, so you can see there is great cross. Means you, you will not able to put any operation or any component in process part which has property as a source. Okay. So in source, you can define only source component or operation. In process, you can define only those component which has characteristic or property of process, which we use to do orchestration or which we use to do apply business logic. Okay. So here inside core component, we have many components which we have like that. So we'll use transform message. So once request will come, this transform message will put result as a flow executed and it will send back. Okay, so this one is very simple API. To understand the flow, what is flow component?
so here we got message like flow executed so simply we with the help of this listener we are calling the flow okay now inside this flow we have many component okay so we are here what we are doing now so first we will understand this logger component okay so this logger component will help you to do any kind of logging okay so you can see here whatever message in if you will drag and drop this logger component whatever message you will put here that message you will able to see inside your log okay so let me let me put here message as a logger before flow executed so here what message i am displaying logger before flow executed okay and i will put one more logger logger after flow executed so what this logger will do when your request will come to listener then it will go to this logger so logger will take that request and it will display this log okay and where you will able to see log you will able to see log in console okay at this moment you can see you are getting this only warning log but from next from next time onward once we will do next day text so from next time onward you will get message logger before flow executed first you will get this then this transform message will create this payload and then again it will display this log inside our console and then it will send response back through listener okay so let me put in debug mode it seems it already deployed so let me test this api when i will send request so this will come here if you go here at this moment okay whatever log is there i want to clean this so let me clean this so here you can see you can clear entire log okay now once you will execute this component you can see you got this log logger before flow executed so what this logger component will do it will display the log inside console okay and this logger will not help you to achieve your business requirement but this logger will help you to monitor your mule application okay so while working on project you will get more better understanding on logger part but at this moment you just need to understand this logger component will not perform any business logic it will just help you uh, to monitor your application when you will go on higher environment okay at that time you will not able to test your application on production if something went wrong in production you will not able to test your application so with the help of log only you need to identify what is wrong there so this transform message completed and here you can see this payload got created okay and then once you will click on this this logger will execute and this message will come logger after flow executed okay so this logger component will display log inside your console okay later on we will see there is much more importance of this logger component although it's not part of business logic but it has very like it is very important component 
and whenever you are creating any new application, you must need to do logging there. We have different level of logging also. We have different place of logging also as per company standards or as per best practices. We have many places where we need to apply logging, where we need to do logging. So that kind of discussion we will do when we will work on project. At this moment, you should know how to use this logger and what is the purpose of logger. OK, so it will log the message inside console and inside this you can define whatever message you will define here it will come inside log yeah. now coming to subflow part okay so this is the flow if i drag and drop any subflow So in subflow, you can see we have only processor. In flow, we have source, we have process, and we have error handler. But in subflow, we have only process. Here you will not able to see error handler. Here you will not able to see listener. OK. Then you will say, what is the purpose of subflow? OK, so in subflow, generally what we used to do, we used to define all the reusable component inside subflow. OK, let's say as per your business requirement, this three component you need to do this three operation, whatever you are doing here, you need to do five places in your mule application. OK, so what you can do, you can define this three component in one subflow and wherever required, you will call that subflow. OK, so how we will do that? Let me show you. So. Either. Like there are two ways to do this. Uh, so let me go with the uh, first. So we created subflow here and we will move this. This is one way and we have another shortcut way also that I will teach you later on. But at this moment, just drag and drop the subflow and whatever component, reusable component you want to put, you will put there. OK, now I want to call this subflow in main flow. OK, if you want to call any subflow in your main flow, then. We have flow reference. So this flow reference will help you to call any flow or subflow. OK, there is no limitation. You can call any subflow from flow. You can call any flow from subflow. OK, you can do call in any order. So this flow reference component will use to call any flow or subflow. OK, and you can call any flow or subflow from any flow. You can call any flow or subflow from any subflow. OK, there is no rule or restriction. You can't call flow from subflow or you can't call subflow from flow. You can do any call from any place. So here I want to call this subflow from this flow. So I drag and drop this flow reference component and in flow name you can click on this drop down. You can see here. You can see all the flow and subflow here. So this is the same flow. OK, if you see here name flow mule application flow, this is the same flow, but I want to call this subflow. So this is the subflow. Now what we are doing whenever request will come, it will come to subflow. 
sorry, it will come to flow reference. Flow reference will call this subflow. It will execute this subflow and then it will come back here. Okay. So to see it's coming here, what I will do, I will put one more logon. Okay. And this time I will change this logger before. Logger after. After. Okay, so now we have this flow. Let, let me execute this. Forgot to add breakpoint here, so that's why what happened now. First, it went, it came here. Okay, you will able to understand by logger. Logger before flow executed. So this logger executed, then it came here, and this flow reference called this subflow. So now we are in here. So this logger will execute. So logger before subflow. Then this transform message will execute. Then this logger will execute. So once this logger will execute, you will able to see logger after subflow. And then it should come here. Yeah, logger after flow executed. I think I, I clicked resume one. instead of next processor. I clicked resume. So it processed all the components. So here you can see logger after flow executed. Everyone clear on this part? Here we are getting this message. OK, now what I want. In transform message, let me put subflow executed. So here, this flow reference will call this. So what I want, I want to call this subflow multiple times. So what I will do, I will take another flow reference here. Okay, in this flow reference, again, I will call that same subflow. Okay, this time we'll see execution. It's deployed. So, first request will come to listener, then it will call come to logger. So, let me clean this console log. 
so first it will display the log logger before flow executed then it will go inside this flow subflow okay in this subflow this logger will execute logger before subflow then it will do the transform message it will display another log okay now this flow reference is completed once this subflow will complete this flow reference will be completed now it came to another flow reference this flow reference also calling same subflow so again it will go to same subflow okay and again it will cap <coughs> Capture two more log. Okay. And once this will be completed, it will go to this log. Okay. What what is next after this? So it will go to this logger and then this logger will execute. And process execution done. You will get message here subflow executed. Anyone has any doubt on this part? Uh, I didn't get the second flow reference why we added like once we have the first flow reference uh, on the yeah I don't get the idea of adding the other flow reference to call once yeah. we call why we add it. So what I yeah, what I mentioned when we will create subflow so whenever we will found we have any reusable components okay we are doing one task okay we are doing one group of tasks which we need to do on multiple places okay, i just took one uh, dummy example but in real case you will able to see when we will do on real time project then you will able to see the main like in real time example but at this moment i took one dummy example okay i want to execute these three component here also and here also so what i did instead of defining so one thing we can do we can define three component here then again we will define three component here okay we have to define same three component two times here and here also okay but instead of that what i can do i can put all these three component inside subflow and wherever i need i will just use this flow reference to call the subflow Okay, so in this way we can save our development effort. We can save our maintenance effort also. In future, if there will be any change in this part, so we don't need to do every places. We will just do here and all the places will be reflected. Is it clear now or still you have doubt? It's like creating a store procedure, which means like putting some common thing and just put like as a, a common and whenever you need it to call or just yes kind of... in java and c have you learned about functions yeah yeah, yeah. it's like so, a function yeah you can you oh. can treat like function purpose is same as function but uh, it's not function oh yeah you can say this is function also here also in function what we used to do we used to do set of action Okay, yeah. which we can use at multiple okay. places. Okay. okay, here also we are doing set of activity which we need to use at multiple places. Every time. Okay, thank you. Okay, so. I will not take much. So today we will be focused on flow and subflow only. Okay. So if anyone has any doubt on this part, let me know. Otherwise, based on the our learning, whatever we did so far, I will give you five assignment which you need to do by tomorrow. Okay. But if anyone has any doubt on this flow, subflow, choice, logger, transform message, so far what all component we have covered, let me make a note. We have covered transform message flow subflow then logger then twice 
राउंड रॉबिन एंड देन फर्स्ट सक्सेसफुल सो वी हैव कवर्ड दिस मेनी कंपोनेंट बेस्ड ऑन दिस कंपोनेंट आई विल गिव यू फाइव पीओसी स्मॉल स्मॉल पीओसी और यू कैन से असाइनमेंट but if you have any doubt on this any of this component let me know quickly ravi we don't see any uh, error handling in subflow so how can we handle any errors in subflow if there will be any error then divide by 0 so if there will be any error then it will raise the error and that error will come to this flow reference now whatever error handler we have inside this flow okay that error handler will handle that okay so subflow whatever error will come in subflow that well that will be handled by its parent flow is it clear subflow will not have any error handler but if there will be any error in subflow it will be handled by its parent flow okay who is the parent flow of this subflow this flow is parent flow okay if you want to see then let me run this let me call this okay it went here it will fail and then whenever error will come it will go to their parent flow okay now parent flow has its error handler so this parent flow will handle this okay we have some other work around also if you want to handle error in subflow only for that we have one component but subflow don't have its own error handler okay so it should be handled by its parent flow now it will go to parent flow error handler we haven't defined any component so it has process completed but later on once we will learn this error handler we will go here okay for today i am closing this session if uh like anyone has a doubt let me know then i will ask vinay to join to resolve your doubt in any assignment whatever we did so far let me quickly know anyone need any kind of help or a software setup postman setup any point studio setup any kind of issue you have let me know so i will ask vinay to 